Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. My name is Zach, otherwise known as Poppy Syntax, and today the sun is rising, the birds are chirping, I got some on camera here. Uh, and my voice is still a little bit croaky. There is some congestion going on. I'm not too concerned at the moment. I'm not running a fever. I I'll be okay. Thank you for your, um, your, your concern and your words of support. <laughs> um, today I thought we would have a little bit of discussion and change our optics, right? So most of you would know that Miss Amberlynn Reed left some voice messages for her mother-in-law, which were a little problematic. Um, I'm not going to supply that audio uh, as someone who studied journalism and journalism ethics. Um, I am of the opinion that information obtained in that way, it's just a little um, sticky. Most of you would know where to find it. Twitter is a place as well. Um, but for me, I don't want to be using source material that was obtained without the consent of particular parties. The thing that really gets me in this is that Norma chose not to release, but send it to someone else. Um, and I question whether or not that someone else had the permission to release Norma, who is now passed, um, her, her messages along with that. I, I don't know what the situation is. It just feels sticky and I don't particularly like utilizing that without some, some form of clarity, right? Because Amber said these things in a private moment. And by the way, I'm not defending Amber at all. Like what she said in that and the timing of it was awful. My God, like realize that other people have feelings, emotions, and are going through things like, whoa. <laughs> and it definitely puts a different spin on what we see from and Amber. Um, I have, I have reacted already to the vlog where they go to pick out the tombstone that a lot of people are talking about, where she's um, visibly distraught and whether or not that's a genuine emotion um, is currently up for discussion. I'll put a card up. Uh, so I won't be reacting to that, but instead I'm reacting to a Walmart haul. And you might ask, Pulpy, Zach, why are you reacting to a Walmart haul? Like that's 70% of Amber's channel. Well, I did watch the, um, the recording of the voice messages and one of the date that it was sent was the 24th of September, 2019. This Walmart haul that I'm going to be reacting to was released on September 25th, 2019. Now, Amber being Amber, this is probably a week old, um, but I would like to view this piece of media with the knowledge that those voice messages exist. Again, not including them, but knowing that they exist and are out in the world, I want to see if my perception of a Walmart haul, haul fil filmed potentially around a similar time might change. With all of that being said, let's jump into the video. <laughs> and here we go. Hey, hey guys, Amber. So, hello. I know I haven't uploaded in a little mm -hmm. bit. I've been getting a lot of questions about how are you? Are you okay? I'm just like going through a lot mentally and I don't want to like show that in my videos. It's hard for me to fake a smile sometimes. So that's just like me being truthful. Again, we're on optics in this conversation and my goodness, my goodness, already hard done by Victim Lynn is the character that I am saying. Now, I'm not, I don't mean to sully anybody or their opinion or their viewpoint on Amber. I, I want her to do well in terms of her weight loss. 
with all the other drama that gets pulled into that, it is, it is interesting to analyze as an audience member. Go on, Emma. So, also... And also, <laughs> um, for those of you who haven't seen a lot of my videos, I do try to come at this as an audience member and limit my outside influence. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to look at these videos as if they are produced content, right? Because they are, um, and they are being content controlled by an individual. It's interesting to see what goes, what goes up on the YouTube. Now, is it juicy to know what's going on in background? Absolutely. Um, and I'm kind of breaking my own rule a little bit here. Um, with the recent release of these voice messages. Um, but optics, right? If we think about it in terms of celebrity, like movies, right? They're a really good um, comparison. It's, it's like something being released in a tabloid and reviewers not not linking those two things together, right? Like there's a level of integrity. Now, is it that important for a vlogger? N no, not really. There are less people involved and um, she controls her own content and what, what happens. If she's a shitty person outside in the real world and people find out about it, optics. <laughs> Well, I have been using my camera lately, but I'm having difficulties transferring videos. Mm. So now I have to use my phone. Wait, what? So that's what I'm currently on. Why? Why? I I don't have a camera at the moment. I am borrowing a Go GoPro hopefully for December. So those videos will look a little bit different. Uh, I use a Samsung Note 9 Plus, I think. And that's just my phone. And... And that's it. Anyway, that's my rig. I just, I know there's going to be like a different like quality change. So I just wanted to kind of let you guys know. I see no quality change. But then again, I don't know because this is from last year. Um, she seems a lot less blown out in this for sure. Her camera, her, I know she went through a new camera or whatever. The camera that she was using, the white balance is just like, and I secretly think as a little bit of a nerd, she's bumped that up so that her skin doesn't look as blemished, perhaps. Also, she's wearing so heavy makeup here because I can't see the cheek spot. I don't know if it's there. It might be there. Anyway, she that, looks nice. Ah, I get really excited when I get these because I have them I don't know how I feel about those hoops, though. It's like a pink quartz, and it's probably not quartz. It's probably plastic. Um, the pattern on the dress looks nice. I have no idea what the cut looks like. Different types of makeup lately. So I wanted to show you guys what is in this month's bag. Also, for um, all of my American viewers, we don't have Walmart down here in Australia. A grocery monopoly kind of has control over essentially what Walmart does. Like we have two suppliers, so. I am super excited to even see what Also, the bag is Costco owned by Walmart? Is that a thing? I don't know, anyway. Looks like no, we do have a Costco. I don't think we have a Walmart. Sorry guys, I'll try to focus. That's the best part. So this is the bag, Ooh, not gonna constellations. Lie. I love it, super yeah, adorable. That's On that side it says Ipsy, this side it looks like it's like the solar system. Well, not really the solar system, but like the stars or whatever. Not the constellations. Um, people have asked what my star sign is and I am a Pisces. Asset angles, oh my God, I just I also it. am not a big believer in astrology, but I, it's, a, it's a fun thing to, to talk about. And it's a cute little crystal at the end of a bag. Look at that stone. I feel like Becky's gonna like that. She loves stones like that. We have Madison Miller. No this idea. This is a highlighter in Sea Shimmer. Really pretty. But I've been using Fenty Beauty highlighter, which Rihanna, you knew what you were doing. I understand. We have Hello Fab Coconut Water Cream. It helps hydrate and smooth and recharge. I actually have used this before. So that's pretty cool. Gimme Brow by Benefit, which I got one of these actually just last month. Guys, let me know because I've done a couple of videos where there's just these subscription services that go on. What's the point? Like it, uh, the, I understand that they kind of sell it as you get a hundred dollars worth of product for 40, but like you don't get to choose the product. So. I personally, in a cynical mindset, think it's just a way for a company to ship uh, to shift stock that's not moving. 
um, or like they've got too much of. That just, that might be me, but. And I'm pretty sure this is the exact same thing. And this came kind of opened, if you guys can see that. Like, what are you doing? Yeah, don't use that, that'd be dry. Ew. But yeah, I got the same exact thing. It's not wanting to close appropriately. Weird glow recipe, watermelon glow sleeping mask. Ooh, I'm excited for that. It doesn't, I guess the brand might be glow recipe. I'm not sure, but. You're telling the story, sister. Last thing that came in here, phase zero makeup. This is a pressed eyeshadow, which I have got something from phase zero before. This color is called Musha Boom, and this is what it looks like. It's actually really pretty. Oh, is that playing on, like, it's mushroom? shimmery. I'm not sure if you guys can make out that. There you go. I'm looking in your so mirror. So that is everything from this month's Ipsy bag. I feel like the bag is great. Yeah, it's pretty. The products in it this month. It is interesting as well to go back even just a small step in time and just see how much shit she doesn't keep. <laughs> <gasps> or didn't keep like what happened to just the ma the piles of of journals and notepads and and things like that i know she i i know she spoke about giving them away and stuff but it's just it's just interesting and as someone who's quite frugal with their money um it it really is it, it really is abnormal i guess for me to see money spent in this way like, I would love to go to Walmart or our equivalent and just drop $130 on things that I don't need. Um, must be nice, right? <laughs> so Becky's going into advanced auto parts mm -hmm. because there is a cap actually missing um, from the tire on the driver's side. So she's gonna go in there and get a cap. I don't drive and I don't have any experience with cars. I was in an accident when I was 16 and uh, got off the horse and said never again and managed to uh, to catch buses until Uber was invented. Um, who are po problematic, by the way. So, like, maybe investigate that in your own time. Um, at least in America, I know that they're having troubles. California, I think, there's a proposition moving forward and I think it's got to do with employee rights. Um, I, I don't know too much about it, but uh, I don't use Uber at the moment. I use a couple of alternatives. Anyway, uh, a missing cap on a tire. Is that is it that big of a deal? Because I think, like, I rode bikes when I was younger, and I understand that they kind of work in a similar principle, that there is a little nub, and then you push the air stick into it, <laughs> and it pumps up. Um, okay. But I just want to say, Becky just got a call from her mom. Oh. And her mom got the results back and she has no more cancer. So we're super, super like just relieved about that. Next. What happened? What well, I'm, again, I'm not an Anne Boleyn historian. I take all of this from a, your content ex exists on the internet and you monetize it. So I will consume it and try to piece together. I will consume it and enjoy it for content. Um, what happened to Norma? I know there was a GoFundMe involved that Amber didn't control, allegedly, I think. That got widespread attention because people were arguing that it was a scam. I know that Amber did do a video, I don't think it exists anymore, but I do recall seeing it, where she said all of her ad revenue was going to Norma based on that video. Um, and again, she got a bit of backlash because of the content of that. And then with these video notes, sorry, with these uh, voice messages, there is there is a component of uh, questioning whether or not Amber simply misspoke or admits to not giving um, the money to Norma. And then there are also other arguments and again it's the internet so who knows who knows who is who and what um but there are arguments that she gave a very little amount of money whatever whatever this is interesting because 
did she go into remission? Is that what happened? Did she go in for surgery? And then not long after, there's some video, uh, there's some voice messages going on. Um, but her, Amber's here saying that the doctor gave her a all clip. Now we know that Norma unfortunately passed away. Was it due to cancer? Like, was it due to cancer remission and they just missed the potential scans? Because it's hard hearing this information, like, fourth hand, essentially. Um, if anyone wants to, to kind of let me know, um, feel free. Otherwise, I might do a little bit of research. Look, cancer sucks. Um, cancer just sucks. Like, it is... It is evil and vile and cancer it's cancerous it's cancer um it, it's it's bad it takes the life from people it is bad and it's it's indiscriminate for the most part um you can live your life a certain way and exacerbate the potential for it is my understanding um your genetics can at times play a role in the likelihood um but it is just shitty that's the hot takeaway from this um, next step is radiation and chemo oh okay so sorry <laughs> i just rambled for three minutes so she has radiation and, and chemo because the cancer has been surgically removed at this point but they've got to follow up with radiation to make sure that they've gotten everything it hasn't spread man just thinking about this now though looking at the narrative of Anne Boleyn, so many people have issues with cancer. And I know that it's a, a high likelihood, right? But thinking about it, like, Destiny's mum passed away from lung cancer and pneumonia, I think. And then I'm pretty sure Dana's, something happened with Dana's family as well. And now Norma has had unfortunately passed away and amber cancer scare so you i mean you've got to argue there's some lifestyle questions in there and like the, the destiny thing was interesting because she spoke about how her mum was smoker and um and this and that but man taking a step back and looking at kind of the, the bigger picture in relation to this network of internet drama is really sad those are gonna be very hard steps but we just gotta keep up the positive thoughts and if you pray please pray now this is interesting um i amber has said before she's either agnostic or atheist one of the two um so when she says that okay that's nice uh I don't really have a lot of ground to speak on there. I myself, let's talk about religion, because <laughs> why not? Um, let's 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 potentially upset my audience. Um, no, I pardon me. I um I was raised Catholic. I had my baptism. I had my confession. I had my holy communion. Um, I ultimately that was out of my control and I was essentially pressured into it by my grandparents um and I did not go I did not go to church I did not participate in that outside of the requirements of of those um those milestones I guess so I have a, a general a very very slight and general understanding of the Catholic Church, and I can only really speak on my experience there. Um, I did have a rosary. My grandmother was the leader of the rosary, or whatever the title is at her church. Um, I didn't. I didn't particularly enjoy my time as part of the church uh, because I was a teenager, and I, you know that that it's it's just not. It wasn't the hip happening like vibes of <laughs> of some of the more modern christian churches it was very you know psalm 16 9 and uh and yeah not no, not cool from, <laughs> from my perception as a young person um i do have conversations about religion quite a lot because 
in my private life, not here, but hey, <laughs> now it is. Um, because it's it's interesting how religion impacts so heavily on people's upbringings um, and just how different people's lived experiences can be with religion either added or taken away or just not there. Um, so I always appreciate a, a bit of understanding because I think having conversations about religion is can be healthy. Some people take it in a bit of a different um, approach, but I, I appreciate having a conversation about anything normally. Um, so her saying, if you pray, pray, it just, I don't know. It feels kind of disingenuous and unnecessary, but that's, that's just my opinion. Anyway, I'm sure we'll talk religion in, uh, in future videos if I don't get cussed out for it. <laughs> I'm not even lying. She was in there for a total of like 30 seconds. So we're actually at Walmart right now. We did go and eat at Ruby Tuesday. It was really good. But there's some things we need to get from Walmart. So we're here. Mm -hmm. I'm in my little scooter. I'm embarrassed. Bye. <sighs> the scooter debacle would debate, I guess. I know that she's shown off on her channel that she can only walk for three minutes. And that has been a, a story point in the narrative. And I know that every time she goes to Walmart, oh man, this is pre-COVID as well. Every time she goes to Walmart, she's in a scooter. But the problem, the problem is that she's been doing this since Destiny era and she was smaller then. So, I don't know. I, I've never been this big, right? I have fallen into the morbidly obese category. That was, that was a period of my life. Um, was I a sweaty, sore mess when I had to walk places, yes, but I would never consider needing to use assisted mobility. I guess that just makes me a little bit more stubborn um, than Amber. I found the actual jackpot right now. Did you? Oh, look at these. Okay, the pinky purple black ones looked cute, but they looked like a guitar pick, so... Okay, the gold ones look simple. I actually really like those gold floral ones on the right hand side. I'm a big fan of like tacky embellishment though, so. Um, oh my God, these will be super. I think we can all agree those top ones with the bear head and the Diamantes dripping. Mm, sorry, they're not Diamantes for 592, that's plastic, but. <laughs> super cute for sure. Christmas. Yeah, I guess. Just. Seeing this stuff as well, it just makes you realize the level of impulse control that Amber doesn't have. I also really like these. Like, I like this. I don't crap. shop as I much like as I this. used to, so I don't now. feel like... And I know that people have spoken about this characteristic of Amber's having something to do with her childhood. Um, and I can see those dots being connected, right? Like, Amber as a child didn't have a lot, always wanted a lot, and it's not specific to Amber, like this is a thing that exists. But earrings, I mean, it's jewelry. I've said before, if Amber designed her own earrings, I think that would be a great like hobby to pass the time. But yeah. Too bad. What else? These ones are cute. Hmm. I like those too. But yeah, look, these would also be really good for Christmas. Ooh. This was filmed in October. No, September. Sorry. I, I've said October a few times in this video. This is 25th of September because the voice memos were sent to the um, the individual on the 24th of September. So. Cute. Why are you get, September's even worse. Why are you getting ready for, <laughs> for Christmas so far in advance? When we got to 2020 and people started putting decorations up in November, I was here for it though because it's been an awful year. And... Um, and I think we're allowed two months of Christmas. Oh my God, so are these. Wow. You guys, I had to show you these. There's mayo chub, mayo cube, <laughs> and cranch. Mm -hmm. That is disgusting. So that's- No, that sounds great. Mayonnaise, like I will, I will fight anyone. <laughs> I'm starting a lot of fights recently. Um, mayonnaise is 
the best condiment. You can't name a better condiment. Second would be mustard. Um, because there's so much variety, right? And it can be made in so many different ways. And it's just great. But the the best... Con if you could only eat one condiment in the world, it would be mayonnaise. Hands down. In my opinion. <laughs> mayonnaise so and ketchup. Mayonnaise fine. and barbecue sauce. Ranch mm -hmm. and ketchup. That's freaking gross. Okay, so That's I wanted delicious. to show you guys the things that I got from the Walmart. I mean, like Big Mac special sauce is essentially just... Ketchup slash tomato sauce and mayonnaise, right? Maybe? I don't know. Anyway. So I'm gonna start with my earrings. This blue pair. Uh huh. Purple pair. Well, okay, on camera they look like burgundy, but they look more purple to the eye right now. And there's like pink diamonds. Sure. Super cute. I forgot These this is a hole. <laughs> diamond hoops. Obviously, when I say diamond, those are fake as heck. Okay, back. Sorry. Um, let's ballpark and say she has bought a hundred pairs of earrings, right? And they usually fall around the five ninety ish mark, six dollar mark. Some might be less, some might be more. She might have more than a hundred pairs. She probably doesn't have less. But if you think about it, like it's. She would have spent six hundred dollars on a hundred pairs ish of costume jewel of costume earrings, right? No necklaces. No, I'm not talking about chokers. I'm not talking about like she doesn't really wear bangles, which I think would be cute. Um, but for six hundred dollars, like you could go and get some classic jewelry, right? And like kind of make it your thing well for six hundred dollars a us like you could probably go and get some custom stuff made but instead it's just here's all my things don't do this hello destiny they look like something my grandma would wear wait which ones all, all of them <laughs> uh, i guess I my love grandma that. and then i got these okay these were cuter in the store wait Okay, there we go, actually. I mean, I do like they them. They look They're like cute. guitar picks, though. <laughs> which, is, which is fine. It's great. But... These. <laughs> See, it's Those not just me nice. when I saw them. And then I got these. You've already shown me these. I love those. <laughs> and then my last pair of earrings that I got are these really pretty ones. So I also got a new cell phone case that has, like, little ice creams and whatnot on did we ever see that cell phone case? There. Did we ever see any of these tonight. things? New phone, who dis? And then I got Twinkie three little clothing items. Two sweaters, one says Diva. Oh my god. One. The one and that this says one I think Diva I'm gonna is put great. on her now. It says short, sassy, cute, and... S wait, no. Wait, what? <laughs> A is for the attitude that's legendary. <laughs> It's the Diva Awards. <laughs> Can I put it on? Stroke, stroke, stroke. <laughs> so maybe sees. Okay. This one says short, sassy, cute, and classy. Can I put it on now? So. I Aww. Guess so oh, oh she's yeah. such a little. Yeah. I sure? look. Twinkie Star's adorable, but being a Chihuahua with the face <laughs> that it has, it just always looks. Right, like it, it. I know it's not always scared, but it just always looks anxious. <laughs> it's really good, Arn. Oh, hi, Tony. She said, "I just want to see you, everybody." Huh? Just like put your hood on your head. Highly <laughs> caffeinated. <laughs> so I've already seen this twice, but I want Dana and Destiny to watch it. We're gonna watch the Melanie. So it's the end of the night. Mm -hmm. Um, all of us we watched K through twelve by Melanie Martinez. I don't know this. So person. good. That's my third time I'm watching old. it. I mentioned that earlier. <laughs> Destiny and freaking Becky ended up falling asleep. Me and Dana watched the whole thing. But yeah, um, Becky's over here. Oh, and I, whoop. <laughs> I love you. So I just wanted to end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Bye, Amber. Okay, well, uh, that was interesting. I, uh, I don't know. There were peeks into the window of, um, of, the uh the drama i guess that has been released i still it still feels sticky to talk about you know it it and it does suck because it just 
Like, Amber being a, a, a not great person behind the camera is often discussed and reasonably well documented. Um, but in this case, she's not, she's not gaining from this, right? So it absolutely, unquestionably, the voice messages don't paint her in a flattering light at all. And she clearly said all of the things that she said to someone who'd just come out of surgery um, for cancer. So around this same time. I don't know. Moving forward, I think it'll be interesting. I don't think Amber's going to upload for a little while. What a coincidence that this has happened at the same time that her cabin visit has lined up. But then again, people have been telling me that the Jenny Craig stuff has potentially been very heavily pre-recorded um, during her month's time off. So as an audience member, it's starting to get a little confusing and frustrating <laughs> because even if she argues she's not a weight loss channel, even if she argues that she's only here to vlog, her na the narrative that she's built is all over the place and the timelines don't make sense. Anyway, if you got to this point in the video, thank you so much for watching. As always, I appreciate your comments, opinions, and eyeballs, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.